So to factor the equation 2x squared minus x minus 3, we'll use these general rules here. The first thing we like to do is set up a skeleton equation. The thing is with this skeleton equation though, we have this 2 here, so we need to deal with that. So why don't we do this? Why don't we move the x here and then we'll write 2 and that's our skeleton. Next we would add the signs. So in general if the middle term and the last term are negative like we have here, we have a positive and a negative. But with the 2 I don't know where to put the positive or the negative right now. So let's leave those off but we do know one will be positive and the other will be negative. The factors of 3. I want the factors of 3 to add up to give me negative x but I need to take into account the 2 as well. I think I'll put 3 here and 1 here and why don't we try the negative before the 3 and make this positive because I think that'll give us the negative 3 here and maybe the negative x. Let's use the FOIL method to check that. We'll multiply the first, the outside, the inside, and the last and we get and then we can combine these terms to get and 2x squared minus x minus 3 equals 0. That's what we started with. So we did this part correctly. Let's take a moment and find the values for x that would make this side of the equation 0. So we'd have 0 equals 0, a true statement. So we could say 2x minus 3 equals 0. 2x, let's add 3 to both sides, equals 3. And then if we divide both sides by 2, like this, we end up with x equals 3. 3 over 2. Likewise, we could say x plus 1 equals 0, so x equals a negative 1. If you put negative 1 in for x, you do the math, all of this will equal 0. So these are the roots here for 2x squared minus x minus 3. If you use the quadratic equation, you get the same answer. This is Dr. B factoring the equation 2x squared minus x minus 3 equals 0. Thanks for watching.